Microsoft Paint has way more brushes than you think because you can actually create your own. I'm going to show you how to customize your brush size, create custom brushes, and how to use the color replacement tool. So let's start with your brush size. So let's say I wanted to add some grit to the sand in this scene I'm planning out. So it would clearly take a long time to do with the default brush sizes, but there's a solution. If we hold down control and then tap plus or minus on our numpad, we can actually increase or decrease the size of the brush beyond the regular bounds up to a maximum of 50 pixels wide. So we can go to our airbrush tool and we can start shading in that sand, no problem. I don't like that sand color. Here's where the color replacement tool comes in. Using your eyedropper, you're going to left click on the color you want to replace. That sets it as color one. Then with the eyedropper again, right click on the color you want to replace it with. That sets it as color two. Grab your eraser, which can be resized like a brush, by the way. Right click with your eraser and then paint as if it were a brush. It will just replace that single color in color one, leaving behind everything else. All right, here's where things get fun. Custom brushes. From here on out, we're going to be using the transparent selection tool a lot. So make sure you have it turned on and make sure you know how to use it. Now this section of road down here on the bottom right is going to become our custom brush. But because of how custom brushes work, they're inherently destructive. Once you start painting with them, you're going to lose your original brush. So we need to make an easy copy first. What we're going to do is we're going to take the sliver of road that we want to be our brush. And with it selected, hold down control before we click. And then when we drag, it'll make an automatic copy. Now, I think this seems like a good spot here. I'm going to let go of mouse. And while it's still selected in the marquee, I'm going to hold down shift and that will create the custom brush. Shift, click, and now we can draw our road. Voila. You can do this with anything and it couples with the transparent selection tool. So it doesn't need to be a single block of pixels. It can actually be a, just a matrix of individual ones like the airbrush tool. This technique is just my favorite, but believe it or not, there's still more to brushes. So how about next time I show you how to get brushes like this using Microsoft Paint's black and white mode. See you then.